for joining us for episode two. We're Robin Photosynthesis waits for you. We last saw how plant cells create O2, ATP, and NADPH. Now we'll start with a twist on the light reactions called cyclic flow. We'll see how it happens, then we will investigate how the Calvin cycle makes carbohydrates. Down cyclic flow is also called the Z scheme. Put Z on its side and see what I mean. Electrons and energy then fall and rise again. Making ATP and NADPH, my friends. A variation on this is cyclic flow, which makes ATP no NADPH or O. Cyclic flow results from the Calvin cycle's needs. It uses less NADPH and ATP. NADPH buildup has no repercussion of inhibiting NADP plus reduction. Cause NADPH clogs a free ductase, keeping NADP plus from moving into place. So electrons don't go to NADP plus. They're clogged stuff the light of the pimples plus. Where can they go from the 700 Nature of all of a place to flow. The Sean Pepper moves into the ETC. We're talking about the one ps 2 you see. These energized electrons flow and release energy, which as you know is used to synthesize ATP. Now it's time to learn the cycle named Calvin, which results in the fixation of carbon. Consider that each carbon in your bones, blood, and hair was once in a CO2 in the air. The Calvin cycle has three parts. Fixation of carbon is how it starts. The molecules produced start then reduced, because reduction is the key thing that happens in part two. Part two is the payoff that you will see. It produces molecule G3P, a reduced molecule with lots of energy, and a starting point for all the molecule cells need. Part three sets up conditions for the the cycle start by recreating what sets the cycle's heart. Are you BP or Ruby Lux Mosphosphate? A five carbon molecule which seems to evaporate. Cause are you BP sets the cycle start? The reappears at the very last part. The role of are and the start and end is why this is a cycle like the one named Krebs. The cycle's inputs are known to you. And ADPH and ADP and CO2. Fixation of carbon is catalyzed by are you BP? Carboxylase enzyme, this enzyme's nickname you should know. Sounds like a cookie maker, it's Rubisco. An enzyme so old it was already here before O2 accumulated in the air. The CO2 enters through the stoma, diffusing through the leaf and arriving in the stroma. The Rubisco grabs it in its active site and squeezes it with RUBP type. RUBP has carbon spied, it has two phosphates, one on each side. When CO2 combines with RUBP, it makes a six carbon compound you won't see. It instantly dissociates into two, three phosphoglycerates, each with three carbons and one phosphate. Each gets phosphorylated to this phosphoglycerate. Phosphorylated means each receives a phosphate group from ATP. This phosphorylation is followed by reduction, and you know there's an enzyme with a function. By taking electrons and H from ADPH and adding them to this phosphoglycerate, take off a phosphate to get goods around the hyperphosphate, a starting point for compounds like carbohydrate. Glitz around the hyperphosphate known as G3P. It's a product cells can harvest and I hope you see how light reactions in ATP, H and ATP are needed to fix CO2 and make organic energy. And to complete the cycle, we must now regenerate the starting point of Galvin cycle, Ruby Lux with phosphate. The intermediates and follow taking G3Ps and recombining them into RUBPs. Are too much refreshment by ILOG. You can get the details when you get your PhD. But know for now that to get three RUBPs from five G3Ps costs three ATPs. Now this journey ends with its emphasis on the reactions of photosynthesis. For nearly four billion years, it's been the food chain space. It's impossible from that error. You can see the traces. But tiny cells with prokaryotic form, stromatolites that lived in water is warm. Through photosynthesis, they transformed our planet. So aerobic life can live upon it. So evolved sentient beings who can analyze a photo water tropes can photosynthesize. You can say that photosynthesis gave birth to conditions for consciousness on planet Earth.